gentlemen. To SI team. Today we will be dealing with um, blood is not thicker than water. Or is it? Is blood thicker than water? Is all the things that they tell you out there true? Or is it just a hoax? Or is there something a little more underneath the sun that you're not being told? See, I've never been big on family. There's many reasons why. Of course, as a, as a young kid growing up, you love your family like any normal kid would. Grow up, you know, you try to do right by your family, you try to do this and that and the third. But not all families are the same, and not everyone has the same types of uh, experiences. And I respect everyone's opinion. I respect everyone's opinion. And I'm going to be explaining a little bit on this here today. We'll have a few more videos based on this topic as well. Because I really need to drill it into people's heads on what's really going on out here. Now, what we need to understand is that blood is thicker than water in certain circumstances. Like when a king needs to give his crown to his son. So that he has an heir to his throne through a bloodline. This is dealing with inheritance. Inheritance, dealing with inheritance, yes, blood is thicker than water. When um, dealing with um, uh, ownership over the land or ownership over something, or ownership over a company, yes, blood is thicker than water then. Now, does your blood equate to love? Does someone's blood from their bloodline equate to them loving one another? Absolutely not. That is complete malarkey. That is complete nonsense. Just because someone has your blood doesn't mean that they love you necessarily. Love comes with experience of knowing someone for years. Love comes from experiencing hardships and hard times when dealing with this particular individual. See, see, blood can give you power due to your family background or your family bloodline or whatever connection your family may have but don't believe just because you have a family member that that particular family member loves you because that may be your biggest mistake that you could possibly make now why do i say this it's because no one can be controlled everyone has free will it's dealing with electromagnetic consciousness which means everyone can do as they please. Now, I'm not saying that that's correct. I'm not agreeing with people not loving each other. I never said I agree with that. But you can't force someone into loving you just because you have blood-related ties. Blood means that you're related to that person. You have a connection, yes, through blood, but blood alone. If you don't actually have a personal relationship with this person, you, that means y'all don't love each other. Y'all don't have a personal relationship. Y'all can't love each other on that kind of connection. You can only love each other as as beings of, of, of existence. That's as far as you can take it. As a, a human being to another human being. Because you don't have that kind of special bond. Y'all don't have that kind of connection. So when someone out of your family that you don't even know, that you just met, tells you that they love you, they're really lying to you. Because they don't have that actual connection with you. All they have is a blood tie relationship and they think through that blood tie relationship that that equates to love that is a goddamn lie I have friends that have had their own brother their own brother steal $400 from them a PlayStation 4 from them and clothes and probably more valuable things as well person even broke into his window his own older brother did this to him Okay, and I know other even worse stories that I don't, I don't really want to get into right now. I might get into it in another video. But you, blood doesn't obligate love. Love is not something that is obligated. It is something that's given from one being to another through their soul. Love comes out of your soul. It's not a blood tie relationship. 
I know people that actually love their friends more than their own family because they have that kind of relationship. They built it over years and they're not related. I know people that would actually take a bullet for me. Okay? And they're not even related to me. But I know I have family members that wouldn't do the same. We have a misunderstanding on this planet about many things. And this is dealing with your mental state. How well you can understand that just because your family doesn't mean that there's going to be love there. There's tons of people. Look at the Casey Anthony case, for example. This woman deliberately killed her daughter on purpose because she wanted to party all fucking day. This woman's a nutcase, but did she love her daughter? No. Was it obligated? Absolutely not. But, it, but am I agreeing with it? Absolutely not. You should love your daughter. I'm not saying that you have to because you're not obligated to do shit. But now, do you have a responsibility? Yes. What is your responsibility to take care of that child? Now, if you want to love that child, that's your own business. Now, here's the thing. Do I agree with her sentiment of not caring about that child? Absolutely not. In my opinion, you should love your child. You should love your child. You have a responsibility. You gave birth to this child. You have a responsibility. And you did not take responsibility. And this child had to suffer for it. The poor child died. It's disturbing, I know. Do I think that all parents should love their children? Of course. But there's no obligation in anything. For example, if I don't want to live anymore, I could jump out this window right now and kill myself. Who's going to stop me? They can keep trying to stop me over and over and over again. But if I want to do it, eventually I'm going to find a way to do it. And I'm going to be gone. Understand? Nothing is obligated. But there are certain expectations dealing with different circumstances. And I understand that. Of course, people expect family to love each other due to their blood relation and, and um, you know, everybody wants to have a great family. But this is the thing. You guys want to have a perfect family in an imperfect world. How the hell does that make sense? If there is sin nature in this world by dealing with the flesh, if there is sin nature in this world, you really expect all of your family members to be A-OK -okay in the noggin? Come on, guys. Come on. Seriously? When we start to understand the concept of what we're dealing with here, we're dealing with understanding that just because you have a minor connection with someone doesn't mean that you're going to be able to build a very big dualistic, holistic relationship with this person. This person may not want to deal with you. This person may not want anything to do with you. Hear about the case about this mother. She baked her children alive in an oven because she got sick and tired of their crying. She beat them. That didn't stop them. So she, she baked them in the oven and then she ate them for dinner. Her own children. One two years old. The other one was four years old. She baked them in an oven and ate them. I don't think you guys quite understand what I'm trying to tell you over here. Now, do I agree with that? Absolutely not. This woman is sick and she needs to be put in a psych ward. She's a psychopath. But this is what I'm trying to say. Those were her children. She didn't give a shit, and look what she did. Sick people in this world. Look at the black child that was in the Steve Wilco show. His own mother wanted him to, to actually stay with a prostitute or with a whore whose children weren't even his, and she kept trying to tell him that the kids were his. She was trying to guilt trip her son into trying to stay with a whore. When this kid is young and he's got his entire life ahead of him, she wants him to take care of some kids that aren't even his. Your own mother is actually going against you and backing a whore over you. She expects you to downgrade your entire life that you've been working so hard to progress to go to college and, and, and become something to, to lower yourself into dealing with a whore that is beneath you. That's been running around the, the entire community having sex with a bunch of thugs. And now she doesn't even know who the baby daddy is. And had to go twice on the show. Because she really doesn't know who the man is that got her impregnated. This is a whore. And your mother wants you to keep dealing with her. Your mother doesn't even love you. And this is what I'm talking about. 
it's come to my attention that the human race is, for the most part, we're dealing with a bunch of fucking idiots out here. And not all of you are stupid, but a whole bunch of you are. You're willing to tell me you think that a family member can come up to you and tell you that they love you. They never met you before until now. They just seen you for the very first time. And they're saying that they love you. But yet they don't know you. They don't know your habits. They don't know your bad habits. They don't know what you do. They don't know if you're a drug dealer. They don't know if you sell cocaine to children. They don't know if you kill people. They don't They don't know you from jump. They don't know you from Timbuktu. But they'll tell you straight to your face that they love you. But they don't even fucking know you. But I'm pretty sure if they saw all the evil shit that you've done, if you're a bad person, for example, oh, they would run away. Hmm. They would run away from you. They wouldn't want to love you no more after that shit, right? You'd be adopted in their eyes then, right? This is what I'm dealing with here. We need to use common sense. People need to stop using their fucking heart for every goddamn fucking situation and start using their heart and their fucking intellect, their mind. You need to start learning how to use your mind. Don't be surprised when people betray you. Shit like that happens all the time. Okay? And you'll be surprised how quickly people will betray you. Especially when you let new people into your life. And they want to act like they're all, you know. You know. Your own family will betray you. There is no loyalty. Let me explain something to you. Blood means you're related. Loyalty makes you family. There is a difference. Now, if you have people in your bloodline that is loyal to you, they have now become your true family. And you have to test people's loyalty. Sometimes it is necessary to test people's loyalty. Okay? Because you need to know who you're dealing with. I am not going to tell somebody that I love them if that is not the truth. Sure, I love everyone in an individual way as dealing with, you know, you're a human being, I'm a human being. We all need to love each other in a um, humane fashion. Okay? That is dealing with common sense. You know, if we all destroy each other through hatred, there won't be no human beings left. And we're all social animals. We're all social creatures. So this is why we care about what other people think. And some people are going to be, oh, I don't care what nobody thinks. But everyone cares to a, a very low minuscule level everyone cares well about how other people perceive them this is why we put on clothes this is why we straighten our hair this is why we straighten our hair in the freaking morning this is why we put on shoes this is why we dress nice this is why we put on earrings this is why we want to look presentable this is why we get a nice car this is why we do this this is why we do that this is why you try to look good in front of that girl that you like so much huh this is why you want to look good in front of that man that you that you're interested in huh because we all care to a certain extent because we're all social creatures. If we didn't have anyone to speak to, we'd lose our fucking minds. That is, you, this is dealing with common sense over here. And it doesn't, and it's not to say that you shouldn't love your family. Sure, why not? But here's the thing. If you don't have a good relationship with a family member and you still love this family member, then that's your own business. But I cannot tell you to love them or tell you that you have to love them. You don't have to do jack shit. It's your own decision on whether you want to love someone or not. No one has the right to tell you you have to love anyone. You don't have to do shit. You do it because it's coming out of your soul. And if it's not there, it's not there, period. But you can't expect someone to love somebody just because you want them to. If they don't love that person, it's their own damn business. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. Now, is love a beautiful thing? Is love a very powerful energy? Of course, everyone should love each other. But unfortunately, if you want to run around and say everyone has to love each other, no, they don't. Everyone has free will and they're allowed to do it as they please. Now, will people pay for the bad deeds that they do in this life? Of course, and as they should. No one should be running around and hurting each other. But like I said, people are going to do as they please. I hope this video was informative. I hope it opened up your mind and understanding. Now, if you have a family and you want to separate yourself from them, 
If you want to love them or not, that's all on you. But if you want to separate yourself from them and you don't want to deal with them because they keep driving you crazy and you can't take it anymore, that is the smartest decision that you can possibly do with yourself because they are like a cancer in your life. So understand this, people. Love is beautiful. Love is powerful. But don't let love blind you. Okay? You have to use intellect and common sense to as a as as a as a locator on as a deterrent to understanding that just because you guys are related or family or friends doesn't mean that anything is obligated. In the end of the day, you have to look out for number one because if you don't, who else will? If there's no guarantees, like I just said, it could be your mother, it could be your father, it could be anybody, but there's no guarantee anyone's gonna look out for you like how you're gonna look out for yourself. This is SIT. Goodbye, guys.